How have you been? What was the story last week? Yes, the girl and the boy were excited about seeing the colorful trees. At first, the girl was sad because she was lost. But I was so happy to see her looking for the way joyfully. So let's go on a trip to see what the next part of the story will be. When the two children walked quickly to the place where the trees were planted, at the very end, they saw a large fountain. The girl looked at the stream of water and said, If we get in this stream of water, we can go up to the sky. When the boy heard this, he said, The water is so high, it looks like it can touch the sky. It seemed as if the stream of water was alive from top to bottom. Yes, the two kids ran to the end of the tree and what was there? Uh-huh, a fountain came out and it was a fountain that rises high into the sky. So let's draw this wonderful fountain together. I'm trying to draw the fountain with a square shape. First, draw a square at the bottom. Now I'll try to show the stream of water rising up here. In the middle, the water will rise up to the sky and then come down on the sides. Keep drawing around, getting smaller and smaller. Here too, draw the water rising up and coming down. Yes, please continue to show this feeling of roundness in sky blue and blue. Water flows up, it keeps coming up. Wow, water does not have any color, but you can express it so beautifully with colors in painting. Let me try to color it in a little bit and show the way the water moves so cutely. It looks small, but you can draw it here, just like the shape of a water stream. Here too, please circle it around and express it in blue. I want to show the way the water moves with white crayons. We can't really see the white color well, can we? But if we color like this, it feels more like water. Yes, the water has been drawn. So I'll put some patterns on the fountain here too. Shall I put on a wave pattern like this? Let's put a pattern in red. And I'll put on this pattern in yellow too. Yes. And I'll try to color the inside of the pattern with a colored pencil. Next, in yellow-green. 
isn't it much more beautiful than when there were no patterns before? I think the water looks better. I colored it in light green as well. pattern would fit well with the fountain, so I put this pattern on it. But you don't have to do the same pattern as I do. I've colored it in green. Then we will express our background with pastels. I introduced pastels before. I'll try to show it in orange today. Color the orange on its side. And I'll put a little darker orange on the bottom and bright yellow on top. I'll color it like this and I'll rub it with my fingers. The top is becoming a soft yellow. Can you see how the colors change naturally as you mix them with the orange on the bottom? It looks better to mix these two colors together than to use just one color. I'll keep looking at the sides. The top is turning yellow. Well, the color of the fountain has changed very beautifully. Do you remember using white crayon before? There was no color change then. But we can see that the white crayons have changed so beautifully when I rub pastels on them like this. So if you rub pastels on the white crayon, the color changes beautifully. You can color on the side of the fountain more towards the water, or you can leave it as it is. It's finished. How was it today? Did you get water on your hands? No, you didn't, right? We can draw anything that does not get on our hands like water in drawings and pictures. You can express the water however you please. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye.